Last year, QuickBooks officially stopped selling its most popular desktop products, Pro and Premiere. And now, Intuit is aggressively pushing customers to move to QuickBooks Online. It's been a pretty big and confusing change, and many small businesses are understandably upset. Hi, I'm Jeff Budiak with Software Connect. Today, I'm covering the key differences between QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Desktop so you can make the best choice for your business. And be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll talk about one of my favorite alternatives. Before we get started, considering leaving a like and subscribe to the channel for more software comparisons and analysis. Up until recently, QuickBooks offerings have been relatively stable. QuickBooks Desktop Pro, Premiere, Enterprise, and QuickBooks Online. However, Intuit has a history of phasing out older products. Think Mint, Financial Works, and even QuickBooks Self-Employed. And now, in September of 2024, they stopped accepting new customers for QuickBooks Pro and Premiere, the most widely used desktop products. QuickBooks Desktop Enterprise is still available, but it's a big jump in price and complexity. If you're a previous Pro or Premiere customer, it's likely overkill. To help understand what's supported on QuickBooks Desktop, it helps to quickly review their previous licensing options. Originally, desktop versions were sold only as a one-time purchase. You upgraded only when you needed. In 2017, subscription pricing became an option alongside perpetual licenses. And in 2022, Intuit stopped offering one-time licenses altogether. New customers had to subscribe. And last year, Intuit completely stopped offering new subscriptions for Pro and Premiere. So what does this mean for you? If you still have QuickBooks 2021 and earlier on a non-subscription license, it'll still technically work, but it'll eventually become incompatible with modern OS updates. And you won't have access to any features that require external services like payroll, credit card processing, and bank feeds. We don't recommend staying on this path. If you currently have a Pro or Premiere subscription, you can continue to renew, but I don't expect those to be supported much longer. QuickBooks Enterprise remains available, but its cost and complexity often exceeds what smaller businesses need. Intuit has made it clear they don't want people using QuickBooks Desktop anymore. Ultimately, it's no surprise that so many small businesses feel abandoned. The software they rely on for their finances is disappearing, and Intuit isn't making it easy to stick around. They're basically making you pay more for less. If you're feeling frustrated, you're not alone. So really, if you're switching from Pro or Premiere, you're only left with two realistic options. Switch to QuickBooks Online or find an alternative. The reality is, Enterprise is gonna be overkill for you. And odds are, you don't wanna keep paying into it by switching to Online, so you'll need a great alternative. And that's where we can help. Visit us at softwareconnect.com where our team of experts will work with you to find the best fit for your business. Now let's talk pricing. QuickBooks Online has four different plans, ranging from $35 to $235 per month. Meanwhile, Desktop Enterprise only offers yearly subscriptions at a much higher cost, anywhere from $1,700 to over $5,000 per year for just a single user. That's way too steep for most businesses. And if that already feels expensive, just wait. Because here's the thing, Intuit will keep raising prices. In the past year, they've jacked up the price on Pro and Premier subscriptions by over 50%. Online users weren't spared either. Since 2014, they've increased prices nearly every year by usually $5 to $10. While these aren't huge jumps each year, the cost can add up for small businesses. So if you're switching from Pro or Premier, how do the features in Online or Enterprise stack up? One of the highlights of Pro was the ability to track sales orders before invoicing customers. This feature is not available for QuickBooks Online at all. You can use estimates to track potential orders, but it's not a full order fulfillment workflow like Desktop Pro. Also, if you want comparable inventory management, you'll have to start with the Plus or Advanced plans. Even then, Online's tracking is more basic. There's no assemblies or industry-specific additions like Premiere has. Your best bet here is to find an alternative that's a better fit. Unfortunately, Enterprise is not a good fit either. Some businesses might want to take the jump because of the similar interface and more features, but we really advise against it. While it does have more to offer, like multi-location inventory tracking, it's feature-rich to a fault. It'll be overkill for you. As we mentioned, the price is also much higher, and the features are designed for larger businesses, so you end up paying more for things that you don't end up using. So if you're a Pro or Premier user, our advice is the same. Don't switch to online or enterprise. Look for an alternative. Plus, with Pro and Premier already discontinued, how long before desktop enterprise is next? If you're ready to make the switch, one of my favorite alternatives to recommend is custom books. 
It offers affordable and scalable pricing plans with unlimited users and includes straightforward double entry accounting and reporting. It's one of the best options if you're looking for a cloud-based alternative to QuickBooks with comparable features. But this is just one of the many alternatives out there. Check out our full page to compare options and find the best fit for your business. Are you still using Desktop Pro or Premiere? Which system are you thinking of switching to? Let us know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth comparisons. If you're still unsure which system is right for you, click on the link in the description or visit softwareconnect.com for a free consultation. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.